It is unfortunately a sign of the times. All across the country, plants are closing and employees are being laid off. But many of these companies are actually violating federal law when they suddenly close up shop without warning their employees. Consumer correspondent Susan Copen reports. From the moment Libby and Sam first met, there were sparks. Anytime he just looked at me, I just would melt. Libby raised their family. Sam drove a truck for Jevic Transportation until one day last May. FedEx knocked at the door with an overnight delivery. Enclosed was a letter from Jevic stating the transportation company was shutting down. Sam's job of 15 years was gone. 1,700 people out of work. They left truck drivers on the road with no way to get home. Our final paychecks bounced. Health insurance was stopped as of May 19th, which was that Monday. That was a devastating blow to Sam, who was undergoing cancer treatment. Suddenly, the family had to choose between paying for medical care or food on the table. If they would have given us even 30 days notice to prepare, I would have gotten medicines. Employees are supposed to get a heads up when they're losing their jobs, according to a federal law that's been on the books for two decades. The Worker Adjustment and Retraining Notification Act, otherwise known as WARN, requires companies to give their employees 60 days notice before cutting the workforce or closing facilities. You don't shut down a plant overnight. It takes a lot of planning and preparation. Lewis Maltby is president of the National Work Rights Institute. The difference between getting notice and not getting notice is the difference between a problem and a nightmare. That nightmare of losing your job without adequate notice has happened across the country. According to the government's General Accounting Office, only 9% of employees who lose their jobs because of layoffs or plant closings ever receive notice. I'm angry at these people. I would like to them to explain to me, look me in the eye and say why they did this. Sam Vaughn lost more than his job. He lost his life. Without health coverage from his company, he stopped chemotherapy. Sam Vaughn died less than three months later. He lost his spirit. This company, when it closed up, brought a strong man down to his knees. On behalf of her husband, Sam, Libby Vaughn has now joined other employees in a class action lawsuit against Sun Capital Partners, the owner of Jevic Transportation, claiming the company violated their rights. They talked about Joe the plumber. Well, there was Sam the truck driver, and I'm Sam the truck driver's wife, and I'm not going to give up. People need to know that we have rights, that this is not right, what these companies are doing. I'm Sam, the truck driver's wife. That's all I can say. In a statement to CBS News, Sun Capital Partners says the company deeply regrets the impact that this action has had on its employees and stakeholders. Sun Capital does not believe that the lawsuit has any merit. Maggie. What sort of penalty, Susan, does a company face if it violates the WARN Act? They'll just owe the money that they were supposed to pay during that 60-day notice period. So, not very much punishment. Sorry. All right, Susan, thank you.